All right, welcome to part three of the GOAT2 Active Directory Lab uh, setup. Now, in this particular video, you're going to see us executing the Ansible playbook. Uh, within that playbook, there are uh, a, a series of instructions that get executed. It's a series of uh, Ansible scripts that get uh, executed. They're all stored in the YML file. So I think we execute three or four of them. They do execute without incident, but I want you to start paying attention on how long each one takes. I think the third one we execute takes the longest, but they all execute um, fairly, fairly successfully with no issues. All right, so let's start with the first one. I forgot to explain something. Um, when you follow the instructions, when you follow the instructions on the uh, GitHub page, it does tell you that you can execute one playbook, which is the Ansible playbook main.yml. I made a, I made a spelling error there. It shouldn't be mail. It should be main with an N. I'm going to be correcting that. And then basically this one executes all of these. However, I recommend against running this one here because um, should each of the playbooks error out when you run this one you cannot see which of the playbooks has actually errored out unless you know each task by name that gets executed within each playbook and when you're doing this for the first time it's not very easy to see which one of those playbooks has added out. So my recommendation is once the boxes have been provisioned, meaning after the Vagrant app script runs successfully and all the five boxes have been provisioned, um, the next step is to execute one playbook that executes them all. My recommendation to you is to not run this one, but rather run them individually. And this is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video, starting with build.yml. There we go, we copy the script. We go back to our terminal. And we run it. There you go. This one executes fairly quickly. I do accelerate a bit. It started at 19 past. And then it runs, and then it was done by 1923. There you go. The next one is the AD server, starting at 23. Let me just pause. Basically, this is the result of each um, YML or each script file that runs. You want to make sure that you do not have any failed over here. Should any of these fail, then you need to run the uh, playbook once more. In this particular video, none of the uh, first four that we're going to run are going to fail. So you're not going to see any failures. You are going to see a failure when you run the next one because that's the one that runs the longest. But for now though, we're just going to be executing these one by one. Here we go, that one is starting at 23. And then I'm going to do that post edit magic where I accelerate everything just to show you how long everything is taking. There 
there you go, I'm accelerating a bit. As you can see, the computers, they boot up, they start, they stop, it's doing its thing. There you go, another one has restarted. And now I push the fast forward button. It's still going, still going. Yeah, this one does take quite a while. Finally, it's done. Now we're going to AD Trust. That runs in successfully. Now we're doing AD Trust. I think this one will run for a shorter amount of time. It started at what, 46? Let's see when does the task finish. There you go, the task is finished after two minutes. So this one did not take long after all. And I think we're gonna execute the last one before we go to part four, let's have a look. Yes, AD data, and that's when all the users and whatnot and groups get created. You're gonna see that going very, very quickly. So that process starts at 49, and we hit the accelerate button. and it's done after two minutes and again it runs with no errors i don't believe we execute the last one i'm looking at the amount of time remaining here i don't think we execute i think the last one is called what servers yes we don't execute that one because that one takes takes long because it has to set up um, my ms sql servers and iis that one does indeed take a while and you're going to be seeing that in part four for now though um, i think we're done with this part thank you for watching and hopefully to see you again in the next video thank you